Endless Waltz is a really great anime opening. But anyways, uh, I digress. Uh, here is Rock and Rain, of course. Back at it again for the rematch here in the loser semis. Like you said, really good textbook Pac-Man play that we saw right there on winner's side. Unfortunately, I did not see who knocked down. Um, I think Rock won, yes. Yeah, so I did not see who knocked down Rock and the losers, but... Uh, it was Spade. Oh no, Rock lost against Rain, and then Rain lost against Spade. Oh, that's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. That's okay. Yeah, because Rock got that, I'm sorry, Rain got the lock last week. Sometimes even I lose track of time. And players who are playing at all times. Nights anyways. are long. Lots of matches to go through, so it makes <laughs> yeah. sense. But yeah, we're, we're just getting a little bit of taste of like how even the winner side match went. You can see a lot of back and forth between these two players. Even though it's Wario and Game or in uh, Pac-Man, they're still seeing like a bit of a brawl actually that's happening between these two. Yeah, I think that's the one thing that you mentioned in the on winner side, right? Like look, it's kinda of crazy that Pac-Man has really fast aerials. But that's kind of what allows him to actually like box up against like Wario, right? He actually has fast aerials to best Wario in the air. And then a decent, like a, a really good a sol I would say a really solid like projectile game to keep Wario away. So uh, put those two together, it does give Wario a little bit of a rough his money. But Wario has real a really good sort of game, and that's where it's really scary for that. <laughs> yeah, it's essentially like whoever's gonna get their their setup on. With is Rocky able to like, or you know, set up the wall and the projectiles while still boxing Rain away, or is Rain gonna land in there? And we're gonna see the, the auto combo essentially come into play. Yeah. Okay, Ghost. I, I think at that point it's pretty good. He, I think that's the one thing that Rocky is really comfortable with is being at the ledge. Especially as a Pac Man main, that's usually where you retreat. And that's something that Rain has to like, definitely be aware of, especially like, fighting him previously in the winter side. So, as long as he's well aware of where Rocky likes to retreat, whether it's at the ledge or off stage, that's up to Rain to definitely capitalize. They're really good on him catching the jump, definitely knowing that Rocky wants to fall on somebody. Yeah, of course, now Rain with that stock speed still going to be approaching. Uh, but honestly, looking for that setup, that early comp, that early percent setup into Waft. Yeah, 194. Now that we're, now that we're approaching at 56 with full rage. I don't, I don't think he's any percent anymore. Maybe an Uptil can do it, but I don't, know, I don't, think, I don't. Yeah, yeah, I don't think Uptil will do it anymore. Uh, at that point, right, like uh, range is just looking at the gun stock, especially with range. I've actually seen a lot of Wario's look like, 200 percent. Definitely, I've seen Tweak, Gluttony, and Kamen. They all live at like really high 200 percent. So, I'm not, I'm not surprised to see Rain live that long either. But I don't think Rain was living that long in Winterside, so. No, 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 no. It's a little surprising. Yeah, I, I think both of these players are coming in with something that's definitely fight up against each other, and I know Rain is going to make sure he holds right the eye. Good back air, honestly, he's him off the stage, he's got the fire hydrant, he's doing a solid job, like, make sure you actually, it's really smart that you're going to get rid of the fire hydrant, just because you don't want it there for Pac-Mine to combo you, or for it to fall back on you, just like how we saw the actual bike hit Pac-Man the last time when through water. Yeah, that was, that was surprising for everyone, I'm sure. Um, yeah. I mean, even right now, like, just continuing to play the giveaway game, forcing Rocky to approach, which typically Pac-Mans aren't the aggressors. Uh, I will say one thing that I've seen from Rocky, though, I kind of wish that he would do more smash attacks out of the bell. There's already been a few times where uh, Rain has gotten hit by the bell and gets sent into the stun, but Rocky opts for uh, a back air or a dash attack or something else. Like, especially yeah. like, it's like right there, back air, didn't close it out, up smash would have. Yeah, that is very true. I think it's too much of like the combo game rather than too much of actually getting a kill. And even though you can effectively get those combos, it's finishing off the stuff that becomes really important. And yeah, for Rocky, I think seeing a few more smash shots definitely help him out, especially against Rain. War you don't want to let Wario live any longer than that, for sure. Yeah, and I think with like Rocky's already really proficient at landing the bell onto his opponent, so just getting that much harder of a punish will elevate his gameplay. 
Yeah. I think that's also the thing about Rocky, too. Because uh, you usually don't typically see Pac-Man be the aggressor. But the one thing that I feel that like gives Rocky the confidence is he, every time he moves in, he's moving in with a projectile to cover his movement. So his opponent is effectively forced to either pick one of the options as soon as Pac-Man makes an approach. Rain has to either shield, maybe whiff punish, depending on the fruit, or go for a jump approach. And even then, Rocky can actually change his approach depending on the fruit if he gets Galaga, Bell, Orange, or Strawberry, or Apple. So it all depends. Like, it's, it's pretty, that's one thing that I feel like Rocky has down. It's his ability to approach the fruit. Okay, nice. He's just trying to get back on the stage. Really kind of not caught up the ledge. Oh. Him, but unfortunately, you can never doubt Wario. Man, that was actually a reaction to Rocky whiffing a forward air right over rain. Yeah. So that was a great reaction from rain. I think at that point, I'm like, that's what rain is looking forward to. It's like, either I use Waff in a combo or I use Waff in reaction. And either way, I'm getting the W if I use it either way, so. That stuff on rain definitely not gonna let Rocky kind of walk over him, especially from the ledge. It's gonna be a best of five. Last time these two played, it was a best of three, so maybe those two extra games are gonna be uh, necessary. Let's see, like, they're gonna think about on top because, like we were saying earlier, um, their winner side set was very close. It was last stock, last hit, game three. So, anyone, either player could have advanced winners or winners. Yeah. Yes, there is a game to watch in Grand Finals. Waiting uh, for the winner of this to play Gayo, and then the winner of that match will play Sibai. Sibai? Um, Sibai, yeah. Sibai. Alright, towards match, once again, Rod looking for that opportunity. Just like I said, right? Move in with the fruit. And then cover your options from there with the room. Uh, really good job with the roll. Definitely changing up. I feel like only because Rain was really close to the ledge, he just makes himself for anything. Good Nair, nice. I think that's one thing that's really scary about buying Mario, is the minute you see yourself get hit by an air. Oh man, you better be holding that control stick to the right DI. You better get rid of the tech, because you will be juggled for all eternity. Or you will be killed. It all depends. <laughs> Very true. Well, ditching the bell, trying to follow up with the Smash attack, but Rocky is not able to connect it. Okay, throw out a few projectiles down there. I like it too, because we haven't seen Rocky go for some drops at all, and sometimes I feel like just go for as you jump with Hydrant, because it's two projectiles you're going to have to really be scared about. But we never really saw him do that until now. I think that's the one thing I'm liking about fighting seeing these two fighting users, is there's a lot of changes that you see here versus how they were back in winners. Or yeah, so. it seemed like Rain kind of controlling the pace a lot more than we did the winners, whereas Rocky seemed to be uh, dictating the tempo of the game. Here, yeah. you know, tables have really turned in great up air and close out the stock with 141%. Bell's there. Okay. I like the attempt. <laughs> yeah, you have Bell to give it to that one. Oh, this platform. This is why I hate taking Mario to, to this stage. You're gonna get an air, you're gonna get up tilted, and then that platform extension is gonna reset, and there goes the stock. Like, yeah. Rain was definitely fishing for it below that platform. Nice to throw. Oh no, that was the situation that sometimes Rain had found himself in in Winterside, he'd go for a jump. And unfortunately, like Rock would be Rocky would be actually though, with, you know, Bell or Projectile. I think that's one thing Rain has to stay a little more grounded at times. But you know, of course, more or less, there's a punch in the air. But at that situation at the ledge, he didn't necessarily need to jump with how spaced out Rocky was. All right, solid attempt with Portal, just trying to get rid of the Hydrant. Some good bites. 116 to 28% here. I think Rain is doing an excellent job and just like trying to find a way to securely take a stock here. Unfortunately, I feel like one thing probably has to get down a little bit more is the spacing with Wario. 
just so that you know you can stop Ackman, but I also respect him because most of the time that we see Rocket the ledge, he's coming in hot with a projectile, an aerial, or a high. Yeah, the there we go, going off stage, going deeper than usual. Uh, Rain closing out a stock, and maybe securing that stock lead. Yeah, I think that's the thing to notice too about Rain. Like, he's not giving him the time of the day to kind of spawn himself on the ledge. And once you start taking away Pac Man's comfort zone, you yeah. slowly begin to pick apart the character of where he likes to be, especially when it's off stage. Oh, I like the f approaching the forward air. You know, it has that lingering hitbox. It actually clashes with the projectile of the bell. Yeah. Good. Okay. Solid job here. Just using his movement. Once again, we're being back to the platform. Tech situation where he did not. Heck, and I'm telling you, the minute you see Wario hit you with a nail, you better be DI properly. Your tech better be on the god. Where, where are you done? Why for that though? Like that up till he missed the tech, and as soon as he missed the tech, up till was connecting. Watch was gonna connect. Yeah. Like, yeah the, the, the DI was wasn't on point, but like yeah. at the same time, oh man, I'm not even sure a proper DI would have saved him. He was no, at 46 percent when he hit no. the ground. That was one of the situations where he needed to attack. There's some situations where it's like, okay, you can DI, which is usually, I think it's, I'm, I think it's at later percents, I'm not too sure. But I know that you can DI at later percents, and then you'll be fine. But in that situation, it was, he needed to attack, and unfortunately, Rocky did not attack. Yeah, well, Reigns gonna close out game two. Very convincing, the up tilt to Waft, which really the first, like, Waft conversion we've seen from Reigns. Yeah, the last time we saw it, it wasn't much of a wall conversion, it was more of a reactionary from the wall. And then even on a winner side, we only saw him go for an aerial, and then he missed the wall, unfortunately. Yeah, I think I actually, I think about it, Waft is what won Rain the, the set in winner side, because uh, it's just like it's an absurdly big hitbox. Yeah. Nice. A really good action for him to come up down there, QE. Kind of climb there with the bell, but also, like, you can also stop and get from the same situation there. Good stuff once again. Textbook edge guarding what you need to do here to stop Pac Man. Down air? Close. Yeah, see, I don't. The reason I don't like that is because down air is a multi hit, so even if you trade, it just puts Pac Man back into that neutral position. It's yeah. not gonna really, like. It doesn't even put him in a tech situation. Yeah, I think the what we saw on the winner's side was Rain went for a back air, and he took the stock. So maybe the next time he Rain could be looking after that back air. But I also respect it too, like he wanted to be safe, so the safe, the fastest option there was just like, okay, let me go for a down air and step back air. Here, good level for a throw here, so set up the situation for Wario with the bike, with trade. Like I said, once he set up the bike there, it was a pretty good opportunity between him and Pac-Man. Wow, okay, 154 here. I mean, if Rain needs to take the stock, I want to say he's got to do it now before Pac Man runs away and chips up the center and wants to fight for it. Yep. Yeah, that was just a good mix up because, you know, continue to approach with forward airs or nares, uh, and Rocky was definitely feeling the pressure at the ledge. Go for the command grab mix up at the ledge. Yeah. And the one thing that we talked about earlier too is like Rocky loves to be towards the ledge. So when you retreat there, all Rain had to do was, yeah, like you said, right? Mix it up and then punch accordingly. Okay, here we go. Double clap. Okay, only getting a single clap. Using the hydrant to actually stall the air and interrupt Rain. Very good option for Rocky. Nice. <laughs> oh, no. He waited for it too. Oh, just a little bit too much charge. I mean, I, I was saying go for those smash attacks. I, I didn't say anything about charging those smash attacks. Just let it rip. Yeah, sometimes, man, you just gotta let it rock. All right, good portal here. Once again, you get stage control portal with decent knockback and decent spacing there. It's pretty Honestly, one of the Wario moves that can actually just deal good damage, deal good spacing, kills. It's really good. Yep, get another clap. These up airs. So strong, very fast. Oh, nice. Yeah, that'll do it. Especially for the Hydrant. Like I said, it's not good damage, good knockback. For Hydrant, like, like I mentioned earlier, it loads, it has some loading health, and the way how it goes away is that the health decreases and disappears. So you can effectively just knock it out with Wario Portal. Oh, he is chasing this man. In there. Oh, I, I sense the back of the situation. Yeah. 
That was good. He, that, the fact that Bike can go through a lot of things in this game too as well <laughs> is enough to actually go through Hydra and actually knock it out effectively for a bit. Yeah, Rain is looking to just close this out here, but I feel like Rocky has a lot to say about it. Good forward smash like that. Sensing the fact that Rain is being a little bit more of the aggressor. Charge the fruit here. Oh, Bell? No. Okay, oh. another one? Does he? Yeah, but you're not going to get the stun. You only get it once. Yeah. You gotta land. I feel like he wanted to go for Waka Waka again, like we saw on the other side, but he just like threw it away. And the same you are. Man, losing the same exact way for the set. That's gotta hurt. Yeah. I'm gonna call it the soft wasp for now. That's that's what it feels like. Yeah, you hit him with the soft yeah. wasp. Yeah. <laughs> that's a better one. That's actually better. The soft wasp or the half gas. <laughs> Yeah, good stuff to Rain, man. 30 in a handshake while 